man that because he doesn't have a uterus, he doesn't have an opinion on something as serious as terminating the life of an unborn child, is quite literally just as sexist as saying that a woman's place is in the kitchen. But you feminists don't see the similarities between these messages, apparently, quite literally showing the hypocrisy of your message. If it were men, in you know this case, trying to not include women in on a decision as important as this, it would be absolute chaos in this country. The feminist party would be going crazy. I'd be going crazy. We as women would be going crazy because that's wrong, because we should be striving for equality. We should not be striving for this division you guys are creating now on gender. First it was race, now it's gender. Why is it, oh, he should be able to say this. She should be able to say that. No, that's bullshit. No. It should be equal for all. That is what this country is founded upon. Can you name one job that men have besides being a misogynistic asshole that women can't do? Somebody please, for the love of God, get me off of straight, conservative, alt-right TikTok, Nazi TikTok, because I'm fucking over it. Why do guys have to make everything sexual? Why do women have to ask so many questions? Why did my dad never come back from the corner store when I was three? Why the fuck do you have a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> do I even have to say it, bro? You look like Z from Surf's Up, bro. I want to hear it. <laughs> okay, Belgi. If real men don't rape, then why do real women falsely accuse men of sexual assault and rape and ruin their lives? But y'all not ready for that conversation. I'm just gonna assume that you made this video because you were trying to bring light to men's issues. However, if you actually cared about men's issues, then you'd understand that statistically men are more likely to be sexually assaulted than to have a false rape accusation made against them. And what I find ironic is that in one of your videos, you said you're a facts over feelings type of gal, yet you're ignoring the fact that around 80% of rapes aren't even reported. And you're also ignoring the fact that false rape accusations are literally illegal. It's called perjury. All you're doing in this video is you're further dividing men and women instead of trying to fix the problems that affect both sexes but you're not ready for that conversation. Just don't understand how it gets to the point well, where- Well, th things get to terrible places one tiny step at a time. You know, if I encroach, I, if I encroach on you and I'm sophisticated about it, I'm gonna encroach two millimeters. I'm gonna encroach right to the point where you start, start to protest. Then I'm gonna stop. Then I'm gonna wait. Then you're gonna calm down. Then I'm gonna encroach again right to the point where you protest then I'm gonna stop, then I'm gonna wait. And I'm just gonna do that forever. And before you know it, you're gonna be back three miles from where you started and you'll have done it one step at a time. And then you'll go, oh, how'd I get here? And the answer was, well, I pushed you a little farther than you should have gone and you agreed. And so then I pushed you a little farther than you should have gone again and you agreed. And if anybody's interested in this sort of process, and this is a horrifying book, if you wanna read about how this process works, you can read a book called Ordinary Men by Robert Browning. I want a boy with bright eyes and big shoulders who thanks the waiter after he orders. I want a girl, it doesn't matter which one, just someone to love me until the depression is gone. I made a video that said, if you are registered to vote, are a feminist, or care about the environment, hello, I am interested. And the crusty, dusty men that have commented on that video being like, her standards are so low, talk about bare necessities, might as well just say she's easy. Wanna know why the standards are so low? Your kind.
Your species, sir. Also, newsflash, don't want you either, buddy. Scroll right off the page. Just do the scroll. We're good. We're good. First of all, guys, this girl right here failed to mention in this TikTok that she cheated on me with this guy right here and tried to act like that I was the bad guy for finding out that she cheated on me with this guy. And even better, guys, this was her gay best friend that she hung out with while we were dating. And immediately after confronting her about her cheating on me, she blocks me from everything. But hey, I guess I'm the bad guy, right? And last week, when a girl was murdered while jogging in Queens, the women on Long Island were unstartled and furious. They did not call to warn their daughters. They called their sons, took their car keys, their coats, locked the door, and sat them at the kitchen table. If you ever, and I mean ever so much as make a woman feel uncomfortable, I will take you to the deli and put your hand in the meat slicer. You think I won't? You hear me? I will make a hero out of you with mayonnaise and tomatoes and dill and onions. I want I've become such a feminist that uh, anytime anybody even mentions anything about a woman, I like full blown defend them and I'll get really aggressive about it too. Uh, for example, I'm watching Dr. Phil right now and I was kind of zoning out and then Dr. Phil was like, this is Lisa and she's 16 and pregnant. And I instantly was like, <laughs> and what about it? Okay. As she should. Good. And then I realized it's not about her being a woman. It's literally the fact that she's 16 and pregnant and she's scared and she's seeing a doctor because she literally doesn't know how to take care of a baby or what to do. calling to ask me how my date went the other day why are you trying to be a nice guy so you curve this dude and he continues to be nice to you, presumably trying to be genuinely nice to be your friend to stay in your life or because he wants a chance in the future but you find it annoying as fuck but instead of blocking him like what the normal person would do you continue to take his calls and then put him on blast on tiktok for simply being a nice guy Listen, there's nothing admirable about being a simp, but it just seems kind of, like, fucked up and weird. Penises are so fucking ugly. Have you seen a vagina? Them things look like face huggers from Alien. Look at that shit, dude. What'd I tell you? Y'all give me the heebie-jeebies. I love all my friends dearly, but sometimes I just want to punch them in the face. For example, this rank ass bitch. Her boyfriend gave her a loaf of bread that he baked himself. And she texts me and goes, what the fuck am I going to do with a fucking loaf of bread? Eat it, you whore. He took his time to make that bread. And he said, you know what? I'm going to give it to my girlfriend. If somebody gave me a loaf of bread that they baked, I would literally burst into tears for days and days on end. Do you know how cute that shit is? Have you ever watched The Great British Baking Show? It is so hard to make bread. Go eat that shit, you hoe. So some of you have already seen this video. If you haven't, you can click the sound for the full thing. But what worries me is that the, the amount of likes is a little, little worrisome here. Okay, so he starts the video talking about the animal kingdom and how there's a gender binary in the animal kingdom where males are more aggressive and physically dominant and females are more nurturing and passive. Okay, so straight off the bat, that is not right because he uses gender binary for describing the animal kingdom and we really don't do that. We use sex and even if he was referring to sex, that would still not be correct because we have a lot of asexual animals in the animal kingdom. Secondly, without really knowing, he's describing a polygamous patriarchy because aggressive and physically dominant are characteristics of males who have multiple female mates, which is again not the norm in the animal kingdom. Lastly, he implies that in all animals, females sexually select for the dominant male, which again is not true. Not all animals sexually select. It is not always the female that sexually selects and sexual selection can be based on a variety of traits.